Hey guys, I am filming a video after a long time and uh, I am going to do a makeup look using microfiber sponges and these are from Plume Co. And I have both the microfiber sponges from them. This is the pink sponge. It is a teardrop shape sponge as you can see. Both of these are wet right now. That's why they have expanded and become so fluffy and big. And this one is also microfiber sponge but this has a different shape. So this is very flat from here and it is it has no point here so it's like flat from the top so this one is really good for uh, applying your foundations concealers all the liquid thing liquid blushes liquid eyeshadows you can use it for and the best part about these microfiber sponges is that they do not soak excess product which means you'll be using a very little product and able to finish your entire makeup with less wastage and this one can be used for both liquid and powder products like cream and liquid and powders and this is really good for contouring and baking as you can see my pink one has few stains because I have been using this one for quite some time now I have used both the sponges and I really like them uh, I have also used I used uh, one of these sponges not not from this brand from a different brand long back I think two years ago and I did not like it at all it was like hard as stone it was like like I was hitting my, my face with a stone but these ones are these are so soft can you see this is very soft and so is this one very soft and spongy and I have washed both of them like thrice three times so far and they wash off pretty well so yeah let's get started with the makeup first I'll show you how I use these both the sponges for cream and uh, powder products easily and these hoop earrings are from club factory before if any of you guys ask and these are really pretty I really like them so first I'm going to prep my face and uh, I'm going to use a, a dewy primer I will link all the products and mention details in the description box so the primer is on next step is foundation and I'm going to use my Kiko second skin foundation as you guys know this one is a serum foundation and serum foundations are very runny very liquidy in consistency as compared to cream mm -hmm. foundation so I'm going to use this I'm going to take one full pump on the back of my hand it's very runny it has already started run down I'm using the pink sponge and I'll show you how I can finish one side of my face with just one pump because this sponge doesn't soak product at all because of the microfiber coating on the top of the sponge and it blends products so easily it's as good as your uh, regular makeup sponges but it doesn't soak up so this foundation is uh, light to medium coverage because of the sheer formula we'll build this side up again or should I do this side I want to do this side with the blue sponge because that sponge is like I love both of these sponges but I really like this one because I can use it for my powder as well so I'm going to use this one on this side So as you can see this side is also done it took me around one and a half minutes to do both my sides and both look almost the same because the form the stuff is same it's just the size is different and the style is very different this one is really good for your under eye concealer as well because of the pointy tip I'll show you in a bit but I'm going to do another layer and just build the coverage towards the center of my face This sits really nicely under the eyes and uh, since it has this pointed tip you just have to dab it really nicely and gently on your face to build the coverage. Oops. I'm going to use the same sponge on this side because I accidentally dabbed it into this foundation.
as you can see my base makeup is done and and it looks pretty even and flawless even though the foundation is very runny and very liquidy it doesn't even offer the medium coverage so for my under eye i'm going to use uh, the benefit boing concealer which is my favorite concealer and it has a different consistency right now the product i've used was very liquidy very runny but this one is very creamy and thick so i'm going to use this one under my eyes i'm going to use the pink sponge because of its uh, this pointy shape uh, it's going to apply the concealer really nicely can you see the coverage uh, do not dab with lot of force just dab very gently you don't want a patchy application because when the product is really thick and creamy uh, it might lift off if you dab the sponge too with too much pressure so as you can see the coverage is really nice i'm going back to the blue can see uh, the blue sponge and just blending the edges a little bit so just one dab into the concealer pot and i was able to get this much coverage which is insane and uh, it spreads the product really easily so it works equally well on both cream and liquid products so i did film a first impressions video with this sponge but my sd card got corrupted and i had to format it otherwise you guys would have seen me using it like a month ago i was continuously facing one issue or the other that's why i was missing and i was not doing videos firstly my uh, camera was acting up that there was issue with the mic and then my laptop crashed which took me good one week to get it fixed and uh, now so far everything is working fine so i thought of filming this video today because i really wanted to share my experience with you all and then i'm going to set everything like right under my eyes using my translucent powder so this is from laura mercier it's not available in india uh, it was a gift so i'm going to take the blue sponge and very little amount of the powder and press it under my eyes now i'll take the same sponge this blue one a little bit of the loose powder and i'm going to mark it right here like this it will give a very clean nice bronzed look and if you want uh, your nose to look really snatched you can use it on the sides so till the time it's baking and uh, setting i'm going to move on to my eye makeup i'm dusting off the excess and you will see a very clean sharp line and nose looking nicely contoured so as you guys can see i have done my makeup uh, i finished doing my makeup and i would like to talk a little bit more about these sponges so these sponges are latex free and these are cruelty free and both of these are priced at rupees 850 but right now they are on discount and mention the discounted price on the screen and i'll also have a code to get an additional discount on the top of this discount so if you guys are interested you can give this a shot i have been using sponges for such a long time now that they have become like an integral part of my makeup routine i only use sponges when i do my foundation you that you guys might have already noticed and uh, i have been using these sponges for such a long time now that i really really enjoy using them this one is like a multi purpose you can use this for your powders for your creams and for your liquids i have used them for everything and it works really well and this one you can use for your uh, liquids and your cream products and you i have also used this for powder like i have already used it to set my under eye a couple of times and it works fine i don't see a difference there now about washing them you cannot wash these with micellar water you really have to use uh, you have to use a soap uh, like you generally do with any other makeup sponge so how i wash them i use lukewarm water and i use a uh, baby shampoo you can use the baby shampoo i use my shampoo sometimes and it washes off it really well people use 
dish soap. I've never used dish soap to wash my sponges. I find it a bit too harsh. Uh, I don't know, but I wash these with shampoo and it cleans really well, really nicely. So, and it just, this one cleans off like immediately. It doesn't take much time. This is lighter in color, so it stains and there are some stains that don't go away, but it, major part of it gets washed off really, really nicely. Also, you can use both of these damp as well as dry. So these sponges are available on Plume website. I link it in the description box below. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any queries, uh, if I have missed out on anything, just mention it in the comments. I'll definitely reply and answer your queries. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Till then.